Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. Yeah, once again, I think we started very strongly, and I think it was um, Cazola's line for shift. They they stepped right in, could have scored, um, and probably had three or four quality scoring opportunities um, early on. Um, those are great skating teams and, and very tough in your first week, but you're right. I mean, uh, we kind of got that monkey off our back, and um, I think they deserve to win out of the, the weekend um, uh, this, this weekend here. Um, I'm glad that they got it. It's probably great for their confidence, great for morale. Um, saw frustrations creep in a little bit and some sloppy play, but as I told them, it's, it's their first week. We made some adjustments tonight. I thought the power play looked a lot more crisp. Um, they moved it around. They got a lot more um, opportunities off it. Um, so it's good that we can adjust like that without training it. And, um, you, you know, we got to find out what this team's strengths are as coaches still as well, you know. And, um, you know, we clean up with a, lot, a little bit of that sloppy play defensively. Um, we're we're going to be a good team. It was just the, the third game in, in, in four nights. So you, you could have been forgiven for thinking that, you know, maybe this wasn't going to be the, the sort of high point of the week. But the, the team definitely sort of tightened up. You, we saw a lot better play than we've seen in the first two games. <clears throat> yeah, and, and that, I addressed it before the game. And, uh, you know, we said, like, look, we played a couple, couple great first periods. Um, we, need, we need to extend that further and further into the game. We definitely took a lull in the second again tonight. Um, they came out uh, a little more energized in the third. Um, you know, it was sloppy play on uh, when they pulled their goaltender, um, just not getting a puck out. But, you know, they can be forgiven for that. And um, like I said, I, I think it's important that we got that win under our belt. Um, and, and now we, we start the week off on a positive note and, and we build towards the German clubs coming in. Chase Shaber, man of the match this evening. How, how much of a, um, an advantage do people like Chase and, and Evan Bludoff and, and Carlo Finucci have coming back as, uh, as returnees? Yeah, and I mean, not only do they help the guys settle off the ice, um, they know the way, the style that Jeff and I like to play and, um, you know, can lead by a little example. I thought that Chase arguably deserved that tonight. I thought he was skating well. Um, and, and off the puck as well, you know. Um, he was getting back, he was engaged, and, um, you know, probably, he probably wants to, to jump in where he led off too, but it's been a long summer, he needs to shake the rust off, and, um, he, you know, if that's the type of performance I can get him on a nightly basis, I'll, I'll certainly take it. You've uh, had a couple of trialists that you've uh, been icing over the weekend. How, how are they working out? Yeah, well, I, um, we're going to let um, Ludwig Adamson uh, go. Um, I had a good talk with him after the game here. Um, he didn't see as much ice probably late in the game Saturday and as, and, and as much tonight. Um, you know, we have other guys certainly like the Reese Cochran, uh, Chris Wands that could certainly deserve to be in that spot. And, and, and Reese is one of the young guys that we have here that needs to play and develop. So, um, uh, it wouldn't be fair for me to hold him and, and maybe he misses out on some early job opportunities. So um, we appreciated his attitude and, and his efforts, um, but we're going to move on there. Um, you've got folk coming back this year uh, in, in the Brits line, people like Chad Smith, who's been away this summer. He's, he's got some ice time uh, in, uh, in Sydney. Have, have you noticed a, a change in him coming back? It's funny you, you mentioned that because I called him into the office after the game and, and you know, I'm really, they're young. You need to communicate with them and tell them why they played, why they didn't play. Um, when, when Chad was out tonight, he, I thought he played exceptionally well. He got stuck in, um, didn't put a foot wrong, in near enough scored at the end there. Um, and, and I relayed that information to him and told him that, you know, I probably should have got him out on the ice more tonight. Um, you, you have to be open and honest with these guys. And if he continues to play like that, he'll, he'll see his ice time increase, increase, and ultimately that's what we want for him, you know along with our other young players as well. And what's your focus this, this week as you head into another uh, weekend of, uh, of pre-season games? Yeah, I think that uh, this weekend probably helped immensely with our conditioning. You're right, three games in four nights um, really kind of wakes them up. I think that we have to um, get guys in, into game shape over the next two weeks and, and we'll be working hard at that. Um, 
And as I mentioned earlier, uh, just a sloppy play right now. Um, you know, some guys are, are swinging when we should be stopping. Other guys are missing assignments. Um, it, it's very hard to draw something up on the board and expect them to go out there and execute it perfectly. Um, and like I said, we have two weeks to build it up, and, um, and we're going to do just that. Um, but you know what? I thought that um, uh, that's a lot of skating for, for, for some guys who hadn't skated at all this summer, and uh, they did well tonight. Todd, thanks very much. Thank you. The Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.